If God won't do it, it just won't get done. What's up y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Today we're gonna be doing a weekend vlog. It's Saturday, I have a bunch to do today and I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Right now I'm on my way to my haircut appointment. I have not gotten my haircut in like a month. It's so obvious that you can tell because I, ooh, my hair's nasty. I forgot that my hair was not detangled. I need to pick this out. Goodness, I haven't gotten my hair cut in a month really because I've just been so busy not only with moving but y'all know that in January I wasn't really feeling the best so I didn't really have like the energy or motivation to like do anything. But good news is I feel back and better, back to myself, ready to get some content done. I feel, I feel happy. Like I feel, well, yeah, let me just, let's just go with that. It's currently, what time is it? My appointment's at 9.30 and it's nine o'clock so I'm pretty sure I need to like leave within like the next five minutes. I'm going to my new barber. His name is Devin. You guys have seen him on my channel before. Really chill environment. I love the people in there. It's very clean and professional. He has like mimosas and everything. It's really cool. So right now I'm currently trying to finish up getting ready. I need to put on toner and moisturizer and sunscreen. I'm using the Kiehl's Daily Refining Milk Toner. I actually need to get some more because I'm literally down to like the last. <laughs> The last few drops. So as you can see, I have a fairly new background. You guys have seen me at my dad's house before. I am officially out of my apartment. I can say goodbye to Melbourne, Florida. So common misconception, right? A lot of people thought that I already lived in Orlando. I did not. I live in a town called Melbourne, Florida, which is beachside. It's about an hour away from Orlando. Um, that is like the small suburban town that I grew up in. Like I went to school there and yeah, so whenever I wanted to do anything fun with my friends, a lot of the times we would just like take that drive to Orlando because it really isn't that far. It's like 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, just to clear that up, I did not live in Orlando prior to me being here. I lived literally an hour away. And that's something that I never confirmed just because Melbourne is a really small town and for safety reasons, I didn't want to give out my location, especially like on the internet and stuff. After this haircut, I'm going to be bleaching my hair again. And then I promise y'all that's going to be the last time because managing bleach blonde hair is a lot and I, I really don't have time for it. And plus, like, I don't want to continue damaging my hair because that can give me like, you know, long term effects. Get this haircut today. I'm bleaching it again one last time for a while, you know, getting some content pictures and stuff because I've been meaning to update my this is him photo. Uh, <laughs> I need to update like my Abby and stuff for YouTube and all my other social media. So once I bleach my hair again, I can take some photos for that. And maybe I'll do that today, I don't know. And then I'm gonna be using my Naturium Gel Moisturizer. This is like my favorite daytime moisturizer. It's a very lightweight, does not feel like I have like a ton of product on my face. If you have oily skin, gel moisturizers are better for you because they help absorb and retain your moisture throughout the day. Well, for the most part, my hair is picked out. Oh goodness, I have this pimple right here. Hope my camera doesn't focus on that too much when I film my b-roll. Oh also I've been trying this new deodorant from Necessaire. This is the Necessaire gel deodorant and eucalyptus. You guys it smells really good and for the most part I mean it lasts all day for me but I've never actually like tested it out outside like all day so today we're gonna be doing that and just in case it wears off I do have my native deodorant in my bag. Before I forget I need to put on my Laneige lip mask because I've been looking back at old videos and I did not realize my lips be looking ashy. Okay, I think I got everything. I don't know where my sneakers are. 
all the black men doing the a day in my life and what they're eating in the morning meditation yoga and hopping in their cars and going to the gym honey honey you doing it right 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 what's up y'all so it is thursday and i know that you're like what it was just saturday i know i know i know saturday did not go as planned like at all like after my haircut i just have a lot going on lately and to be honest like sometimes i don't even know how my day is going to come out it just happens but tonight i'm going out to dinner with janae and y'all know like me and her always go out to dinner but tonight is actually very very special so janae has like a job offer in atlanta and tonight could possibly be the last time that i see her until i don't know when oh my gosh you guys there's just been so much change lately and I'm so happy for her. I'm so, so happy for her. So we're gonna be celebrating that tonight. There's gonna be like a group of other ladies joining. I'm so like emotional because that's my friend, that's my girl. We've gotten like so much closer over the year and um, uh, uh, yeah, so I might be crying later. I don't, I've already cried and I'm, I'm gonna cry again. Right now I'm just getting ready to go to Sally's because I need to get a mixing bowl so I can bleach my hair again. And to be honest, y'all, this is gonna be the last time I bleach my hair because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of managing it. It is so much to manage. And quite frankly, I miss my natural hair. I'm gonna go incognito and zip zip on my way there. So I just got to Sally's and I'm just trying to figure out where I can get the mixing bowls. Let me get a black one. Now I just need a brush. Where are your um, mixing brushes? Some in front. And some right you. Oh. Oh, this thanks. This is very fancy. So on the front is cheap. Cheap, okay. <laughs> I, just need, <laughs> I just need a basic one. This is cheap. Okay. What about, I want a black one. I just need a big one like that. Do you guys have Apple Pay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Here's the dilemma, right? So now that I got my stuff for my hair, I don't have anything to wear tonight necessarily. I don't know if she told me the name of the restaurant. I've never been to it before, but apparently it's like very pinky in the air, bougie. It's a fancy restaurant. Um, they have a dress code, like no jeans apparently. And of course, like I have something. Also a little tidbit, if you paid attention to my last vlog, all of my shoes are in storage except for two pairs. My Air Force Ones and a pair of workout shoes. Dressy shoes, like my loafers and stuff, they're in storage. I don't know if that was a smart idea. <laughs> But like, I didn't want to like just jam pack all of my stuff at my dad's house. So I'm going to run to this Target to see if they have anything. I've never bought clothes from Target before other than like my bathrobe, basics and stuff like night clothes. I'm trying to find something, you know, to step out in. And with that being said, I don't even know if I'm going to be in an Instagram photo mood, to be honest. I really wish I would because tonight's a very special occasion. And since I'm doing all this stuff to get ready, the least I could do is take a photo for Instagram. I don't know if I want to get that Target sign for my TikTok because part of the light is out look at that look at that it's just it's just a tad bit ghetto oh wait hold on target hold on target i like these pants these are nice i did not know goodfellow actually made clothes i bought one of their shaving creams that i was gonna include in my shower routine video that i'm gonna film probably this weekend i really like these they're only 25 bones i like these do they have any of my they have a small usually i'm an extra small though depending excuse me where are the men's shoes 
over th straight across like across his baby stuff okay thank you the hell i ask you where something is and you say wait this is where i came from this is excuse me where are the men's shoes like a small selection. Oh, it's right here. okay. Thank you so much. She was a much better help than the other nigga. At least she gave me detail, you know? That's what I'm trying <laughs> See, I knew wasn't gonna find nothing in here. It ain't nothing but... This is like a little mini children's place. Let me hurry up and get up out of here before I buy something I don't need because y'all know how Target is. Five hours later. You guys, I have made a discovery. Native has skincare now. What? What? Native has skincare? You know, I've tagged Native quite a few times and they don't interact with me at all. I don't know if it's because I don't have the numbers yet. I don't know, but they definitely open up my DMs and they just don't respond at all. Like, they just don't respond. All I do is just tag them, I link their products, I make money off their products, no sponsorship. So, I don't know. But part of me would like to do a review on this just because I love Native. Like, their stuff is natural. There's no, I mean, it has citric acid, glycerin. Oh, there's fragrance in this, though. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I mean, it can be, but the cleanser is 10 bones. Moisturizer is 20 bones, I think. Is this, how is this stuff priced? I'm going to have to think on this. If you guys want me to do a review on native skincare, just let me know. But I just thought that was very interesting. Okay, so I'm back from Target and I ain't got no shirt on. But um, I'm in a rush because it is now 7.22. Janae texted me and she told me the reservation is at 8.15. So it is slightly giving late. But I'm just quickly mixing in the solution so I can bleach my hair so I don't go to this dinner looking crazy. Because I still have like blonde left over in my hair, obviously from my haircut. I need to like quickly put this in my hair and then incubate it, jump in the shower, get dressed. I still have no idea what I'm wearing. Oh, by the way, I found out the restaurant is called Del Frisco's. It's a seafood and steakhouse. Very fancy, it's very aesthetically pleasing. I need to, I need to figure something out because I would like to get a photo, but if not, there's always next time. Oh, even though this is like the last time I'm gonna see her for a while. Janae's gonna be bopping all around the world. I'm so proud of her. Also, I got this toner from Target. Looking back, I really did not need to get this because I didn't realize I had other stuff in my boxes, but I got the Daily Brightening Solution from Burst. I'm supposed to be getting PR from them and I just need to like fill out a form, but I have not done that yet. And I just kind of want to wait until I move into my new place for me to do that because I don't want to change my address again. It's almost 7.30, I need to hurry up. Um, let me go ahead and Finish doing what I'm doing, and then I will check in with y'all in a second. Hey, hey, it's your birthday. Not really. It is not her birthday. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Hi. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. That is too good. Let's get the bill. Did you guys get your entrees already? We ordered, yeah. Oh, you didn't eat your entrees yet. So much better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking to all y'all. I'm not talking to them. I'm not talking to y'all. <laughs> they're not my fans. They're my supporters. I feel like fans has like a negative connotation to it. Yeah, they're your fans. You look nice. I'm not photo ready. All my nice clothes are in storage. I wanted to take a picture tonight so bad, but you I need to. No, I didn't have time to get ready. Girl, that's what face app is for. I should have worn something else. We almost died. A little toasty. Especially, no, especially after me rushing here. Because we're going to do a boomerang, so I don't know if y'all want to, with your empty cup or something, or with your water. I don't know. No, no, I'm saying you, can, you are more than welcome to join in, but I'm just saying. Yeah, like, you can cover it, you know? Like maybe with your water, you know, something. something.
city girls stay from the south So we just That's left the restaurant. It was so good, y'all. I need to come back here. It's called Del Frisco's. It's like very like ritzy. They have valet. Look at look. They got valet. Bye, Keisha. Bye, Keisha Kaor. Drive Bye. safe. Bye. <laughs> no, I need to come back here and like do like a solo date. You know, it's a lot of rich people up in there. I felt very, <laughs> felt very um, centered. <laughs> So we just got to the hookah bar. We were Listen, just trying to figure out like, you know, what to do after like, dinner. We're back at Aria. You guys know that I vlogged at Aria for my birthday vlog. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it above. I love Aria. The atmosphere in here is like really, really lit. It doesn't look like there's that many people here right now. There's people here, but it don't start jumping until like 11.30. Show off the body yaddy yaddy. Natural. Oh, na <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It looks natural. But for real, look at it though. So if you guys don't know, my, I can tell them. Yeah. Yeah. So Nana, she got a BBL. And she looks so good. I look so natural. Very natural. Very natural. Are you doing like workout plans and stuff? Or? Yeah. Yeah. It's so usually out. what the girlies do. As soon as my six weeks hit. Oh, is that like your recovery period? Six weeks is like no restriction. Oh, okay. See, I wouldn't know. I, w I don't have a BBL. C uh, contrary to popular belief. Anyways. But <laughs> Push P. Yeah. Push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh huh. Partners in the prank in my piece. Push P. Cop new hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot in the club spot. Just for peace. Drop the data, never be black. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned lesbian. And then my friends thought it was cool. My friends thought it was special. Uh, they thought I was special. And so, and I appreciate them for that because if they had never made me think that, I don't know if I would have pursued it. What's up, y'all? So it is much later in the day. I'm on my way to my storage unit because I was about to start working on some content. I was going to film a video tonight, and it just dawns on me that my studio lights are in storage, and I don't know why they're in storage after I literally told people, like, hey, don't, don't put those lights in storage. Like, I need that to film. And I was looking around the house, and I realized they were not here. So, and I also need to get a lock on my storage unit. I did not realize I did not have a lock on my storage unit. Hey y'all, so I finally got to my storage unit. Um, I'm on the phone with Brooke. Say hey, Brooke. Hey. Hey, Brooke and Babies. The Brooke and Babies. I can't stand us. Yeah, you can. Me, me and Brooke, um, we've been talking on the phone for like, what, the past couple hours now? We've just been... Just been chilling. Um, we're planning a video together. I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, but um, just know it's, 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 it's gonna be funny. It's gonna be real funny. So I finally got to my storage unit. I'm about to walk in. I'm a little nervous, cause obviously, you know, horror movie vibes. Like, it's dark in here, it's closed. I don't know what these people got in their storage units. And I need to get a lock for my storage unit. I probably should have stopped at the store first, but my dad texted me talking about, be careful. There's Walmarts like at every corner. Yes, there's one, there's one like two miles from here. So I wonder, I should probably go there first and then, yeah, that makes more sense. All right, so we finally made it to Walmart. I'm about to hop in here and try to find some sort of lock for my storage unit. Yeah, I love me some Brooke. She is such a nice person. It feels like I'm like talking to a cousin because we're from the same area. Excuse me? I can't stop because I got money oh. in my hand, but you can walk with me if you need to ask questions. Oh. What kind of customer service? What kind of mess? Talk about I can walk with her. I don't work here. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you helping her? Yeah, yeah. Give me one second. Okay, I can wait. Hi, I was wondering like where your locks are. Like, 
to put a lock on something. Because I, I work in the inside, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I just need it for my storage unit, like, just to put a lock on the unit. You see in the stationary area? Stationary? I didn't, this is, I'm new to this place, so I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Maybe try. We can look together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Um. So these are our options. Twelve bones for a, a lock, bro. Is it really that serious? Well, I guess it is. Stainless steel. Does it come with a key? It comes. With, I think it comes with. A, yeah, it does come with a key. I'm with the squares. You know. If it's a problem, nigga, let me know. So finally got to the storage unit. So let me open up this thing. Bro, like how am I supposed to get in here? Oh no. Bro, no. I think I need, bro, do I need scissors? I gotta think of something. There gotta be something in here that I can like cut this open with. Like this pen. Maybe if I like stab a hole in it. Yeah. Good thinking, Deshaun. Yeah. Stab a hole in it. Oh, look at that it's working it's working if god won't do it it just won't get done okay so i'm putting in the code to try to get in here and i'm recording for safety purposes because it is kind of scurry the not code unknown what do you mean bro something's not right what the hell that's is it gonna let me inside? So evidently, I'm at my storage unit and U-Haul put a lock on it, which I don't have a key for. Obviously they're closed, so looks like I won't be getting in here tonight. Came all the way over here, got a lock for Nathan. Hey y'all, so it's Sunday. This is gonna be the last day of this weekend vlog, whatever vlog this is. Honestly, this is probably the most chaotic vlog I've ever done because it just seems like things just don't go my plan. So recap of last night. I went to my storage unit because I thought my studio lights were in there. Come to find out when I got to the storage unit, U-Haul put their own lock on it because usually they will circle around to see if all the units have a lock on it, if they're occupied, and if they don't, they'll just put it on there as like a courtesy, right? Couldn't get into my storage unit last night, so I'm thinking, like, my lights are in there. And my dad was like, no, I, I swear I didn't put them in there. Like, I don't think I would have done that. Went ahead and we went to the storage unit today. I didn't see my lights anywhere in there. And so I'm just like, okay, where are my lights? Like, they're not in here. They got to be in the house somewhere. Long story short, go into the house. They're in my stepmom's trunk. Why were they in my stepmom's truck? I could have filmed my video last night that I wanted to film. They were in the house the whole time. There was no need for me to go all the way to my storage unit. Side note, I'm waiting outside Wingstop right now. I had no idea that Wingstop was like an actual Wingstop. Like, I thought it was a drive through restaurant. I get here and I'm looking around trying to find a drive through and it's, I gotta walk in to order. I'm like, okay, I mean, I'm here now, so. Let's have like a little car chat, right? I get the chance to actually thank you guys for sending me so much love and support in my last weekly vlog. Um, I got a lot of people saying, you know, they hope that my living situation and everything works out for me after moving out of my last apartment. You guys also really loved the cinematography that I did um, with like my spoken word poetry in the beginning and then the way that I did my ending too was also kind of like a little short film. So um, I enjoy doing stuff like that. Somebody asked me if I I like went to film school I did not go to film school I never studied film I've thought about it and I've only thought about it since I started YouTube because I didn't know that like I could do certain things with my camera and I have like a certain eye for aesthetic and I get my inspo pretty much from like everywhere whether if it's from other creators or film or even if it's just a picture or a song or an album cover art or something like I pull inspiration from everywhere and I just think of things and yeah, you know, I just execute my vision and hopefully people like it. I want to make my vlogs just like a little bit different from everybody else. You know, people, you know, kind of have like the traditional vlog style that everyone's following, right? But I want to actually like, you know, implement some things that I'm interested in. And some of you are wondering like who was the guy on like the voice note, the voice message interlude like in my vlog in the intro part. That's my friend Chris. We we're like really cool. He does like poetry and stuff. The day that we had that conversation, I was not feeling my best and you know, I'll go to him and confide to him. 
about certain things. You know, that was one of the things that he told me through a voice note, and I've always kept it because sometimes I'll go back and I'll listen to it. So I just thought, you know, why not put it in my vlog? And he really liked it too, so, and I'm glad you guys liked it too. It felt kind of like an album, like I was making music in a way. I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to touch base on about that. My last video was was pretty great, so thank you. Hey y'all, so editing Deshaun from the future. I just wanted to touch base with you guys because I forgot to film an outro. I do apologize. And I do apologize if the vlog feels a little jumpy in some places. So it's gonna take me a minute to actually get like everything together. Um, but I didn't wanna leave you guys without content, of course. And speaking of content, I have a bunch of fun new videos that I'm gonna be updating you guys on. An updated shower routine, skincare routine is also coming soon as well. I'm gonna be updating like all of my popular uploads from last year to make an updated 2022 version for you guys so be on the lookout for that in the next coming days um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much bye